So we've been hearing her talk about genetic engineering. So we just go into one little thing about cloning. It's something that fascinates everybody. So what is with this thing about cloning? You create an entire uh, mold, a rubber stamp of the same person. Is that what it is? Um, yes, you can do that. Um, it's something called, the property is called totipotency. It's okay. from a single cell, the arousal of so many cells. That's what actually happens for every human being when, before they're born. But and then the different cells differentiate into you know uh, and the, that one cell. So that's where you, you into the stem cells come in. The, the, you, the, that, that can be made into all kinds yeah, of different yeah. cells. Yes, yes, exactly. All so right. So the, the interesting equivalent of that is when uh, there was a movie made uh, here. Um, can't remember the name, but it had Surya. I made, either. Uh, no, no sorry. I. Oh, I forgot. Anyway, well, well, the, the name will come to us. But in that movie, Era Marivu. Era Marivu. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So in that one, the uh, Surya was recreated out of uh, DNA or some s cell they picked out of, of a previous uh, incarnation of him called Bodhi Dharman or something mm. in China, and they brought one cell back here and they recreated a completely new guy. Is that possible? Well, I don't really know if we can get Bodhi Dharman cells right now, and and Surya, current Surya couldn't have been an exact clone of Bodhi Dharman. That's like really. But if just in, in the off chance that there was a little bottle of his blood lying around somewhere, <laughs> and they well, it if you know, all they, we they, had, they, they always have lyrics. See, theoretically, uh, it's possible. Of, okay, it yeah, is. It, it's plausible, but nobody has actually done something for that for a human being because it's not according to ethics. But theoretically, it is plausible at some point okay so yeah and but now i don't think anybody would do that right now why is that because it's not ethically correct and why we not? have a lot of issues why having multiple copies of uh, so many people okay. i mean all the bad people can be multiplied you know piracy has been pirating music and movies for so many years yeah. now we can we can clone actors we can have the same guy doing yeah. six movies together <laughs> uh, he'd be a lot cheaper a lot faster to do it imagine six of them shooting in different places yeah you know, but and then there'll be jokes. chaos uh, jokes apart, I mean, is it possible to to make a, a, a human being uh, from some cell that was? It's it's it is theoretically possible. You, when do you see, is it already possible, or is it still in research? Hmm. Uh, it is in research. See, what happens is we'll have a lot of issues. You might not know if that person can be is uh, completely all right. He might have certain problems. Could be even diseases because he's developed in a lab. Okay. It doesn't come naturally, and anything which doesn't come naturally can have a lot of problems. Okay. So other than those complications, but I thought it was the other way around. When you create. develop things under control conditions, they're perfect, and when they're not, uh, in reality, no, it's because you're creating it naturally. When you have something so natural, it's the the system is perfect. I mean, having a baby is like a perfect system. Nobody can actually change it, okay. and that's the reason we are all alive today. So if that process itself is being done in a lab, we are having so many issues in fertility centers. Forget cloning a person. Okay. There's so many people having a problem just hitting a baby in a test tube. That oh. itself is being such a big deal. Okay, and so you also briefly mentioned that you did uh, uh, get into forensics. Yes, is, I did in my is, masters. Uh, yeah, that. that, that what, what what's the difference essentially between uh, genetic engineering and, and maybe the I application of it? I don't think there is any connection between the two. No, I no application of uh, whatever you study. If, if I if I get into molecular side of it, then yes, there is a connection because certain subjects here can be used there. Yeah. But what I did was I predominantly got into the crime scene investigation part. I was more interested in the psychology, in the forensic psychiatry, the psyche behind the criminals as to okay. why they do it, etc. So I landed up interviewing prisoners. I started dealing with cases. And these were all in the U.S. In the U.S. Is any of that stuff happening here in our country? Do you, do you I you? have I I haven't dealt with anything here. I haven't worked here at all. And that that subject doesn't interest you anymore. I mean, you've done gone. No, no, no. It that, does. I, I do go that. back. I read. You do. And all that. But I'm really passionate about acting, and I don't think you can do something as different as that simultaneously. All right. So she just quietly dropped a little atom bomb. You know, we <laughs> didn't even hear it go off. But as you can rewind, you can see she's getting into acting. She wants to. <laughs> after all that she's done. She wants to be an actress. And not only that, I'll have to tell you that you've already done a role, one or two. Yes. So let, let's hear quickly, what, what, what movie did you do? What um, did you... I've done uh, a cameo role in Nidane and Panvasantam, thanks okay. to Mr. Gautam Menon. And uh, also a cameo role in the Tamil and Telugu version of Ban Baja Bharat, which is being shot. It's under production now. Is there a name for it? I don't think they have a name for no. it yet. Yeah. So Nani who's is your... Lead. Oh, okay. okay. Nani. Nani is the and you're the, you the... I'm lead. just doing a cameo role. It's a Dulhan role that I did. It's a very okay. prominent Dulhan role that I've All done. Right. So it's not the role that Samantha did uh, in the same movie? Not Samantha. No, no. It was Anushka Sharma. Anushka Sharma's role is being done by Vani Kapoor. 
Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you, you, you're quite sure that this is what you want to do? Yes, I've been acting since the age of three. It all started off with some fancy dress competition and a lot of dance performances. And uh, I have been classically trained in both dance and music. Okay. And uh, yes, I've learned, learned, learned a lot of dance forms. Uh, so you want to take um, music seriously? Or you just say one of those things that you do? <laughs> yeah, I do sing. I never took it up seriously, but I learned for over 15 years. So I was singing rampantly and then all of a sudden we don't practice and when yes. you come out of home, you're not pushed to practice. I did like it, but it okay. was, yeah. And you even took part in any of, did you take part in any of these reality thingies that goes on TV, all, the, uh, all, the, I all did over not, the, wherever Indians are? Yeah, no, I did not take part in anything. I just got uh, selected for Indian Idol. Hey, and that's for one the of those first, things. Yeah, for the first two, three rounds and I was in 12th grade and my father immediately called my grandparents and was like, you're not sending her for any more of those rounds she's going to sit at home and oh, she's going and, to study and, and when this happened you were in 12th Indi grade i was in india okay. because i did my 11th and 12th which city were you i was in bangalore oh out of bangalore yes okay so you went through the singing routine or yes. the acting routine or what did you go for indian idol singing singing yes and what did you sing um i sang a hindi song which one um i don't remember i think i sang ao huzoor and then the second round i sang o sajna and did you get through the uh, yeah yeah the I, did, I did I did I uh, was practicing for over four hours a day when I was doing classical music I think that's what my parents enjoyed the most when I used to sing at home yeah so oh. that time I was like really good and then when I joined hostel everything was like ah no ah. we're all cool people we don't sing classical music <laughs> okay. and now you're full circle you're back again want to get the movies back yeah. into music back into everything yeah anyway Shweta lovely talking to you and I hope you really go and Crack that uh, big role that's waiting for you around the corner. I don't know who the director is going to be or what the movie is where you'll be the heroine. But best of luck. Thank Thanks you for coming. Much. Thank you so much.